as mentioned, the first Colombian UFC fighter. It's Alexander Rolo Torres. 12 and six overall as a professional, riding two back-to-back -back submission wins. Winner in four of his last five and seven finishes overall in his career. You know, you, you, you think about an individual who puts a stamp on performances, Rolo comes to mind, Mickey Gall. Yeah, man, you know, he's a true vet. He's a true vet. He came in on tough Latin America, got to fight in the UFC, for whatever reason, only had one fight in there, came out, still doing his thing at a very, very, very high level, has a plethora of experience, and he's here right now to, to close out the show. I'm very impressed with Rolo Torres. He he's got uh, he's got some local eyes too, bro. You look at his look at it look at him right here in this area. Now look at those look at those eyes, bro. That's an intense individual right there. They're focused. We take it to our Burger King tail of the tape for our main event of the evening. Sebastian Piedrahita representing Medellin. Alex Torres repping Bogota. 14 and four for the pit bull. 12 and six for the former UFC Rolo. Five years to separate these gentlemen. The Pitbull will have a bit of a height and reach advantage. MMA Colombia for Piedrahita. And I uh, couldn't catch the gym for Rolo. Torres is the last member of the Mickey Gall Photo Club. <laughs> we are four and one this evening. Looking to go five and one. Aiming to add more gold to the trophy case back home. It's the Pitbull, Sebastian Piedrahita. 30 years young, born in October of 92, fighting out of Medellin, Colombia. Started the career with six, started the career six and zero. Oh, now has nine finishes and 10 victories. Five of those with being first round knockouts. Again, our, people our, put our final fights. combatant entering the cage this evening. He told us in his pre-fight interview, he's looking to stay behind his jab, apply pressure and melt his opponent. He wants to stay long, but apply that long pressure, that drowning style pressure where you're touching, evading, touch, touch, backing him up, working his game. The Pitbull ranked 68th in Latin America out of over 660 fighters. Now this is the main event for a reason. These are two champions. These are two very, very high level fighters, guys with a lot of experience. These are a couple of dogs in there and we're gonna get to see Who's in a piss all over the cage tonight? <laughs> Marking the territory is anticipated for two of the most technical and highly experienced fighters on tonight's card. The Pit Bull aiming to stake his claim against Rolo Torres. Only one man can unify the lightweight belts in Colombia. We set it inside to get it going. Que todos estamos esperando. Pelea estelar de esta noche. Por título! Hoy se enfrenta el representante en la ciudad de Bogotá y de aquí de la casa de la ciudad de Medellín por nuestros cinturones Empire en su quinta versión en la esquina Azul, con un peso de 70 kilogramos, 35 años, de la capital de Colombia, representando a la Academia Infinite Studio, un récord de 12 peleas ganadas, 6 perdidas y 0 empates. Alex Torres! Y en la esquina roja, representando a la ciudad de Medellín. 70 kilogramos, 30 años de la academia. MMA Colombia con un récord de 14 peleas ganadas, 4 perdidas, 0 empatadas, 
Sebastián, el Pitbull Piedradita. Que se sienta que esta es la última pelea de esta noche. Y nuestro referee, el Chiqui Miranda. Juan Carlos Miranda, el main Bull, event assignment. Pelea Cerdal de la noche, ya saben, cinco rounds, cinco minutos, es por título. Escuchen todo el tiempo mis indicaciones, sigan mis indicaciones, hagan una pelea limpia. Soy justo, ok muchachos, choquen guantes si desean, a sus esquinas. Great respect shown between these highly decorated lightweights. Again, the pitbull, Sebastian Piedrahita, will benefit from a slight height and reach advantage. But Alexander Rolo Torres has dealt with all kinds of challenges in mixed martial arts. Our main event is underway. Five five minute rounds for the Empire Lightweight Throne, Piedrahita in the red gloves with the black shorts, Torres in the all blue. And there goes the pit bull, sticking with the long jab, staying behind it, applying that pressure like he said. He's stalking and he's sticking that jab out there. Throwing a couple naked leg kicks, there's back on the jab. And pressuring, I mean commanding the center, gives him all the room to evade. Oh! Torres. Beautiful take down. This was part of the game plan for Torres. Torres said he looks to get him to the ground and get his submission. He believes he's the, the better fighter on the ground for sure. Piedrahita trying a couple up kicks, disrupting Torres successfully through the first minute. Roll low. Really slow start, I mean, you don't want to blow the low too quick. Looking to get, get control of those heels. Oh! Ooh. He hyperextended his leg a little there. He's looking to get control of these heels and uh, elevate where he can control them and get a pass. Pitbull getting back to the side of the cage. 345 remains. Torres evades that strike. Torres being very patient here. I like the activity from Piedra Hita on the bottom. Yeah, he's not, not letting him gauge until now. Beautiful. Now he's damn near inside control. Potential Dars here. Setting up a Dars choke. Rolo Torres has three submissions in his seven finishes. Most recently, April of this year, second round sub. We got almost a half guard with a little knee shield in, bet in between. Knee shield is that knee and shin going across the body of Torres from the pit bull on the bottom. Highly craft crafty elbows to the body from Torres momentarily. Go back on now. that Dars choke. This is potentially dangerous for the pit bull on the bottom, but he's defending it well. That was two times it entered and he uh, evaded it both. The Pitbull's only been submitted once in 14 combat sports outings. Rolo Torres is going to really need to put him in some bad spots to tap him out. 2.20 remains in round one. Torres largely in control, but Piedra Hita as active as you can be on the bottom. Yeah, very much so. Uh, good little pass there, able to drape his uh, body across now. Put some pressure. I like to see him get on those toes off the knees and, and apply, be a little heavy there. Um, but yeah, the Pipples moving great uh, on the bottom. You know, things are coming in and they're, they're moving out in the same way. Good little scrambles here, good, good movements. To the back. Oh! oh. Pitbull trying to. See if Rolo doesn't fall off. Good adjustment. What, uh, what did the ref whack him for? Juan Carlos Miranda engages briefly, unsure why. Either way, the back is taken. Body Pit lock. Bull. In a bad spot here. Beautiful oh, reversal. excellent move there. Sebastian Piedrahita has done his homework. Now on let's the see if he stays here or if he disengages and brings it back up to the feet. I think I was uh, feet, toes in the cage. Pit bull Looking for a little leg back. here. Going to be hard to roll with the cage there. But he did, made a great adjustment. Looking for a little knee bar. Good spin. Uh, Pitbull might end up on his back here, going for his own. A lot of great grappling through four minutes. 
We thought Pitbull might want to disengage and come to the feet, but he's happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, MMA criteria, if you're on top, you're winning the fight nine times out of ten, so. Might be a good opportunity for the Pitbull to sort of gauge what Alex Torres has on the ground. Dip a toe in the water, so to speak. <laughs> good little butterfly hook. Um, has the wizard looking to get up from it. Or maybe roll through with the knee bar. Oh, that, that's, that could be a little tight on the arm. Beautiful shot by the pit bull. Back to that the feet we go. Ooh. Oh! Uh. Piedra Hito with a punishing combo to enter the pocket. Torres respecting the knees. Torres might be hurt here. Final moments of round and number nice. one. Beautiful toss. Beautiful wizard throw. Ends up on top. Well done. Back and forth fight here so far. And instantly in mount, but Piedrahita again active, rolling, moving. High mount here. Wow. What a back and forth. Wow. In our first round. I, I think, I think, uh, I think Rolo might have a hurt knee from the, that up kick from the bottom. Right here is a potentially dangerous position. If uh, Rolo Torres kind of threw his shoulder there, you could really almost put an Americana on. Uh, similar to, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. You know who used it? A lot of the goats. John Jones, myself. I used it against Sage Northcutt in my finishing sequence. John Jones used it very effectively against Glover Teixeira. Uh, man, he's a Japanese guy. Not talking Norigomi. Um, uh, shoot. He, but he, you've seen it. He popped the dude's arm, finished it on Sato, the Sato, not Sato. Not Takashi Sato, no. no. Um, old school fighter. He used to wear the rainbow pants. <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> well, well, shout, hey, well, shout out to him and his rainbow shout pants. Shout out to him and his rainbow pants. <laughs> Round two, we'll see how damaged Alex Torres is. You could see him sort of wincing. I don't you love that it? body language. Yep. Yeah. I think he's going to uh, want to get it to the ground quickly if he indeed is uh, compromised. Early adversity for the former UFC talent Torres, and like you said, instant takedown attempt. And, and he completed. You know, I uh, Pipple mentioned to us that he was gonna he was gonna be ready for the takedowns, and both takedown attempts uh, Torres finished with relative ease. How does a damaged knee affect the grappling success of Torres? Well, from here it shouldn't be uh, that debilitating, that limiting. From the feet, his movement. Uh, and striking, that's where it'll really affect him. Here, he should be fine. More hips and uh, body movements here. Again, active off the bottom is Sebastian Piedrahita. Both guys champions in other promotions, and Alex Torres displaying a lot of championship medal here tonight. Beautiful pass, beautiful hips, the way he just stepped over that leg. Draping his body. Staying heavy. I, would, I, I, I imagine Torres to want to really marinate his opponent and cook him down here. Take his time. He, you know, he, this is a position he wants to be in. No, doesn't need a sense of urgency. He's in a, a dominant position. Work your guy. Work your game right here. Try and compromise your opponent as much as you might be compromised. Exactly. Beautiful hip switches there. And oh. Each guy oh. looking for the legs, Mickey, go! To, uh, Rolos looks uh, better. A little bit of an extension here. And he's going for a knee bar. How will the pit bull respond? Now he's got both legs in, but that, you can still get it, like, you can still get it this way. He's saying no. <laughs> Shaking the finger, no. Pedro with some gamesmanship. 320 remains in round number two. He needs How to, can Rolo finish this? Uh, he, it's, it's a little late now. The knee's cleared. Uh, he probably needs to, needs to recapture the knee and switch to uh, a, a different lock, perhaps a heel hook. The knee is cleared. If the knee is inside, Rolo's thinking right now. He's thinking how he's going to end up on top of this. And he keeps those legs and gets up first like he just did. That's what he needed to do. Beautiful work from the former UFC fighter. That was vet stuff right there. And again, when we think about that lone UFC outing, it was at UFC. I had it yanked up just a second ago. It was in 2015. Take your time. We got a wizard and a big punch coming in. From the oh. pit bull. Heavy handed. Again, those long limbs. Uh, the, these, are, these are bangers. He's bringing these, these hands up to the moon and letting them drop. Don't love the body language. Beautiful hooks. Piedrahita jumps in with a rear naked choke. 
hammering away is the UGP lightweight champion. Torres kind of getting swarmed here. Yeah, but you know he's turning and uh, getting out of this bad position. The back is really the worst position you could be in when someone has your back. Worse than the mount because you can't see them. They have potential chokes. They have potential strikes. No, the back is no bueno. You don't want to. You don't want someone on your back. And, he, and uh, the pit bull's a little high right now. I think he's going to eke out the back door. Beautiful work by Torres to now reverse the momentum. Have that UFC fight pulled up. A split decision setback to Masio Folan. Again, split decision loss. Arguably won that UFC loan outing. Here he is, eight years later. If I'm Piedra Hito, do I target the knees? Do I try and kick? Nice up kick. Uh, yeah, you do. I wonder if he's aware that, uh, that he, he's injured his opponent. The pit bull as vicious as they come. A good entry by Torres. We'll see if it pays yeah, off. Yeah, Torres is very patient and very safe in his entries. He's avoiding the up kicks. He felt the danger presented by the pit bull on the, on the bottom, and uh, he's navigating that very well. I love the hip work he's doing. He's, he's uh, a couple inches away from a mount. He needs to uh, move his hips back and forth, shake, shake a little bit. Ooh. Back to the he's leg. Going back to the leg. Game. We go. Oh. Excellent work by the pit bull. Great sprawl now turning back around. Torres. Great, great transition the by the pit bull. Final 30 seconds in round number two. Piedra Hita going to work with the ground and pound again. These rounds are flying by with, with the action. Very back and forth each round. Um, who, how do you have it so far? It feels like the pit bull's just having the bigger moments. You know, when he's on top, he's raining down hell on Alexander Torres like he's doing right now. Yeah, I feel I, I agree with that. I feel like the pit bull is winning the moments while Torres is winning the minutes. Yep. Tor Torres is spend maybe spending more time on top, but uh, the pit bull's making it count a little more. Torres wisely defending and mitigating right here. Round two comes to now a let's close. see the way he moves when he gets up. Both gentlemen taking their time. Torres not even returning to the feet. He is remaining on his knees. I'd like to see him get up. Uh, when you stay like that on, on his knees, uh, the, the, you can't see inside because we're watching replays, but he's still on his knees. That can draw extra blood to that area. It's, it's better pro probably to stand up on your feet and let Move the blood around. run through your body. Yeah. Got a question. Will Juan Carlos Miranda, I mean, he's, he's got to start him standing. As you see now, he's still on his knees. Hasn't left this position since the end of the round. He shot for a takedown immediately at the beginning of round two. I imagine he'll repeat that process in round three. Very labored get up from Alexander Rolo Torres. The pit bull could be five minutes away. He got up, took a couple steps, and now he's, he's uh, hunched over. Yeah, that right leg looks a little, uh, little tender. The downstairs of Torres has been tested. The pit bull. Now, like we said in the last fight, I'd, I'd, there it goes right again. Ooh. Oh! Knee to the ground opponent. What's the call here? Juan Carlos Miranda should potentially. Well, I don't going. know. Torres fighting through Torres it. Torres driving. I was going to say, you know the takedown's coming. You want to start jabbing at the chest. He talked about staying behind that jab. He just got to lower the level of that jab a little bit. Uh, to, tur you know, uh, not, not have him be, be as easy to be able to take those shots. Torres sucked out the right leg of Piedro Hita. The word I was looking for was to deter the shots. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably a great position right in the corner of the cage, limiting Piedro Hita as best he can. Now isolating an arm. Pin that arm down well. I'd like to see a gift wrap here. If he took that, uh, his hands on the right wrist, if he took the right wrist, put, pass it to his uh, left hand behind his neck, great ground and pound position. Over a minute has transpired in round number three. Torres. Body head. Has this right where he wants it. Pitbull, not as active as he was before. Now both guys are getting tired, and here we go. Let's see what happens. Can he get a hook in to maintain position? 
We got a little bit of interesting spot here. Possible back take. Pitbull reverses. Pitbull gets with out excellence. again. Torres with some serious urgency now eating some shots from Piedrahita. And he, we saw he had trouble getting up after that second round without a, a guy on his back. Right. The damage is accumulating on Alexander Torres. Piedra Hita with a clinical breakdown here in round three. Now he's gonna for turn, a choke. Looking for the choke, but he's going to be able to turn his back and get out of the back door if that choke got deep. He elected to go wow. back to the ground and pound, which I thought was a, think is a great decision. We're going to put pressure on that head. Now taking it downstairs with some knees. Beautiful shot upstairs by Piedro Hita. Yeah, great diversity with those knees. Uh, beautiful variety. Good defense Back on the ground. As well. Both guys seem uh, fine to keep the fight on the ground. Which is somewhat surprising given our conversations with both of them. Piedro Hita really expressed that he wanted a standing affair. He wanted to remain at range and like a sniper pick his shots. But he's really turned into a grappler here tonight. He's, yeah, he's, he's found success on the mats and... Uh, he, he, he doesn't look like he, he wants to get up off him. This is a dog fight right now. It is absolutely testing who is the best champion in Colombia. 100%. Both guys having moments. Pedrita seems to be the fresher guy through three minutes in round three. Both guys taking some deep breaths, talking to each other. Sebastian Piedrahita has notched one decision victory in over, it's been only two decisions. Last one was in 2016, most recent was in 2022. He's not used to going to the scorecards. He's a finisher. Nice short elbow. Putting that pressure on the neck, you see a lot with that uh, right arm draped over there. Now he's putting it over the mouth. This is going to suck the wind even more uh, of Rolo. Torres has an open guard here, but really not making a lot of moves to get back to the feet. Now both these guys have been working hard. Both were taking deep breaths. Like I said, it's a dog fight. It's a true dog fight right now. We're going to see who wants it more. If you're Alex Torres on your back with 40 seconds remaining, what would you do? Man, it's hard to say. You know, uh, it looks like he almost wants to ride out this round. Uh, maybe try and take some breaths, collect himself a little bit, and come out stronger the next round. Uh, you know, it, it, if, he, if he feels an opportunity, maybe he can try and pop up. 20 seconds to go in round number three. Pitbull with a little bit more urgency here. Maybe he senses a stoppage. Torres trying to isolate that. Got a little bit right of a, a potential leg position, and he's looking for the heel. Oh. He's rolling with it. He's going to put his foot in the butt and, and scoop out or put his foot in the elbow right there, but he's safe. Good work by Pitbull. Rides out round three on top. Man. What an affair. Alex Torres again remaining on the ground in between rounds. You gotta imagine how that knee's doing right now. Yeah, man, I, I think, like I said, this is a dog fight and both guys are dog shit tired. It, and, <laughs> and so you're really seeing, uh, seeing the will of both men here. Championship rounds are upon us. What would be the adjustment from both guys? You know, I, I think the, the, the Pipple needs to stop the takedown. But even though when he's getting on the ground, he's having success. He needs to throw that jab a little bit lower and, uh, you know, control a little more, deter the shot uh, that, that's inevitably coming from Torres. Torres needs to get on top and stay on top. He's doing a great job when he's on top, but the Pitbull's explosiveness and transitions are rendering him on the, uh, rendering Rolo on the bottom eventually. So I, I think, you know, both guys need to try and... Uh, force their game plan right now. Championship rounds for two bona fide champions of Colombia. Only fitting round number four between Sebastian Pitbull Piedrahita 
and Alexander Rolo Torres. Easier said than done, Mickey, but I feel like one leg kick could probably do it. Yeah, both guys' wills are being shown right now. Both of these guys' hearts went for a little shot into an Iminari. What happened? Injury for Torres. The leg buckled, the knee goes, and the title arrives with the pit bull. Sebastian Piedrahita stops Torres at the beginning of round number four. Man, you gotta love the glory right now of, uh, of Pitbull, and you gotta feel for Alex Torres in the agony. He went until his body quit. Let's look and take another look at this. Seems what do you, like I, the leg just collapsed. I mean, he's tapping, he's, he's tap tapping. Yeah, he's tapping. He's hurt. Like you said, he fought until he could not. Alexander Torres. Wow. Really given everything that he possibly could here, leaving it inside the octagon. But your lightweight champion is the pit bull, Sebastian Piedrahita. Torres gets back to the feet, good to see, but collapsing entry and that leg was just busted. Yeah. It was truly a battle of wills, and eventually one man's body gave out. Not his heart, not his will. His, you know, his his leg went. That we we saw that leg was hurting about the first uh, minute of the first Literally, round. Literally, first exchange. Yeah. Devastating result for the former UFC fighter Alexander Torres. But what a night for the Medellin representative Sebastian Piedrahita. You know, we talked about the striking focus that the Pitbull was bringing, but man, his grappling seems to have leveled up here tonight. You know, he's, he also said, uh, when I asked for a prediction, he said, I'm ready for everywhere. And and he showed that tonight. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm well-versed everywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for whatever the fight brings. And he improvised expertly and uh, did his thing. Very impressed by the Pitbull tonight. Very impressed with uh, the heart of Alex Rolo Torres. Both of these, these gentlemen really showed out in the main event. It was a freaking bueno. dog fight. Both guys left it all in the cage. Y ahora sí. Hagamos una reverencia. Uno más. <laughs> al campeón del Empire en su quinta versión por su visión. Nada más y nada menos por nocaut técnico en la esquina roja Sebastián el pitbull piedradita add another belt to the resume of the pitbull Sebastián piedradita just north of 30 years young he is the unified champion of Colombia in the lightweight division, Mickey Gall. Yeah, man, he earned it. He earned it tonight. What a performance from both gentlemen. Pushed to the limit. But yeah, the MMA Colombia product did his thing, showed his heart. Did his freaking thing tonight. I, I'm, I'm very impressed with both of these fighters. I can't say it enough. It was a dog fight. And, uh, you know, he improvised well. He, he, he rolled with the punches, went with the flow, and did his thing. Got his finish. It was a dog fight, and it's only befitting that the pit bull reigns supreme in those types Amen, of battles. Amen, my brother. What an absolute barn burner of an evening. I can't count on one hand the amount of first round stoppages that we had. We sent it inside to Alejandra Laura for a post-fight interview with the new lightweight champion, Sebastian Piedrahita. Pitbull, no campeón de Empire Cinco. Pitbull, fue una pelea muy reñida, una pelea de campeonato que no dejó nada de ver. Vimos todo lo que son las MMA. ¿Qué fue para ti lo más difícil de esta pelea? Uf, 
No, son miles de sensaciones en realidad al entrar aquí. Tú sabes, de primera mano, Alejita. Pero, nada, mucho foco. El foco fue el principal. El rol es un profesional. Yo sabía que en cualquier momento él podía salir con algo que me sorprendiera, pero bueno, fui inteligente. Obviamente me costó mucho sus derríos, pero estamos trabajando y ahí se vio el trabajo que, que hicimos, mejorando nuestro wrestling. Gracias al, al profe Michael, gracias al equipo, gracias a MMA Colombia. Esto es de ustedes, ya dos veces campeón. Esto quiere decir que el camino es muy grande por seguir a Leita. Gracias. Pete, mencionas que en los derribos había un, un, un factor de que te sentiste en peligro. ¿Cómo manejas eso en tu mente, en, en esas situaciones? Siento que también la, el piso para mí es un punto a favor. O sea, siento que ahí no tengo mucho que perder, obviamente. Hay que ser muy inteligentes. Eh, yo he mejorado también mucho mi suelo. Fui contra un cinturón negro y, y bueno... Ahí yo creo que es donde, donde también se ve el trabajo, ¿cierto? El trabajo en el suelo. Gracias. Y bueno, nada, creer, 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 creer. Créanselas y seguro todo les va a salir. ¿Qué sigue del PIT? ¿Qué podemos esperar de ti de aquí en adelante? No, vamos a seguir trabajando por lo que venga. Vamos a seguir trabajando por esto. Hay mucho que mejorar, no me voy contento por muchas cosas, pero para eso es, esto es un trabajo de todos los días. Seguir mejorando. Muchas gracias. Gracias a todos, muchas gracias. Woo! So do you stay? The new lightweight champion, Sebastian Piedra Hita. Gracias a todos, hasta luego. We've got Mickey Gall in for a post fight interview with Piedra Hita. Hey, so you came in there, it was an absolute dog fight from the beginning and the pit bull came out on top. Pretty fitting. How did you feel in there with the biggest win of your career? Yeah, I think it's my biggest win of, of my career, Biggie. I am pretty grateful with all the people here. So, nah, I just have to, uh, we are going to, to work again in the, in the gym, so yeah. What do you think is next for you? Next for me is, sure, I, I need to improve some skills and let's go continue working and for sure let's let's fight for other belt in another country for their best fighter in the world hey you really showed your will and your heart in there tonight congratulations on a great thank win you, thank you thank you nice to to be with you here likewise my brother i'm a thank fan you. i'm a fan much Hello. respect mucho respeto excellent work the people ladies and gentlemen by UFC welterweight staple Mickey Gall. Our main event belongs to the Pitbull.